first time that I've worked on such a huge scale and given myself so much time to devote to the work. It kind of deals with a bit of narrative, uh, identity, and belonging. And there's a lot of sort of the organic versus the synthetic. The palette is quite moody, um, so it does come from sort of like uh, almost like more your subconscious, like very dreamlike, nighttime kind of state of mind. So the underpainting is really a lot of watered down acrylic layers. You end up with these really dark paintings, but you can still kind of see a lot of the texture underneath when you look a little closer. And often with these paintings, um, people see them and they ask me if they're oil paintings, but it's only because there's so many layers of acrylic and there's often like quite a bit of clear medium in each layer so there's more light refraction in them so the colors glow a little bit more than you normally see with acrylic. And once I have an idea I'll usually just start drawing and because it's out of my head I'll draw and it will look pretty goofy initially and then I use the light box and I will redraw that drawing probably like five times until it looks how I want it to look and then um, once I've got it I like put it on some tape and try to find the right position in the canvas for all the elements so it's great if you have a lot of different figures in the piece because then you can really keep moving things around until you find the right composition. These characters are essentially I mean they look almost like they're on fire but once it's painted, it's going to be more like they're being enveloped by this like woven kind of fabric or something that's kind of attacking them. And it could be because they got too close to the black hole, which looks a bit foreboding. I mean, it, I think that each one takes probably about a month of my life. Maybe with a composition or I'm not too sure what I'm going to put in there as a subject matter. So those ones can take over a while as well. You're really faced with so many decisions. And when you look at a painting, you don't think, wow, that took like 10 million decisions, but really, like, it does take that many decisions. It's just when you're confidently working, you're making them really quickly. So it's it feels more natural. And I think it's just the practice of making those decisions that helps you to get better as an artist and, and move forward with your work.